I'm happy to tell you that we have amidst us three of the distinguished winners of the Padma Shri Award in India. There are three prominent persons amidst us who have been decorated this year. I would like my colleague Anju Kumar to call out their names, tell you in brief about them, and I would request the Honourable Speaker to join me in presenting them a floral tribute. And you please call up them. Dr. Sudhir Kharik. Dr. Sudhir Kharik is the recipient of prestigious Ellie Island Medals of Honor 2005 for lifetime community service for his work for community and social service. Dr. Parikh was also awarded the Pravasi Bharati Samman Award, the highest civilian honor bestowed on NRIs by the Government of India. He has provided support, guidance, and funding to countless worthy causes and organizations. Request the recipients now to address the gallery. Honorable Ambassador Prabhu Dayal, Mrs. Dayal, distinguished guest, and dear friends, I am deeply humbled by honor conferred on me by President of India. Back in my India days, I too, like all of you, perhaps used to read about and watch the Republican, Republic, Republic Day celebration, the parades and award ceremonies. But to be a small part of those celebrations on this 60th anniversary of the Republic is dream come true for me. Even though I had, had a fortune of receiving several honors here in this country, to be recognized by Motherland with the Padma Shri Award is particularly special. It's almost like when you, your mother tells you that you are a very special child. And like the mother's law, one can never earn it, but only work hard to live up to it. I assure you, I will certainly try my best. I am equally gratified and thankful to all of who are gathered here today, and also to all hundreds of friends and well-wisher who called me to congratulate. I recognize that your support and affection were important factors in whatever I achieved here in this country. I have been a part of this community for more than three decades, and you have been a source of strength to me and my family for long. It feels, it feels very gratifying that you all are here, a part of this special moment in my life. I assure you that I will rededicate myself to community service, which has been an abiding part of my life. Needless to say, my special thanks to Ambassador Prabhu Dayal, who has been a great advocate and friend of Indian-American community. I feel proud to call him as my friend. I am deeply grateful to him and Mrs. Dayal for hosting this function. Ambassador Dayal, I am sure you know that you can count on me anytime for any service that I can render to my motherland and that, that is the least I can do for this special honor which conferred on me. Thank you all. God bless America. God bless India. Thank you. I am very deeply honored and uh, humbled by receiving this honor from the government of India. This is a great honor which uh, 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 usually bestowed on the uh, people who really work for the community, for the India and US-India relation. And I am sure I will continue my community service uh, which is a part, abiding part of my life uh, to make it uh, this uh, award uh, more worthwhile. Thank you very much.